because I am trying to cut down my plastic. This is a prop from when I do my Christmas markets, but now all of my Christmas markets are finished, I might as well use it. Or I will have to lock the living room up at night because Rowley loves eating plastic. taken the pink tinsel off because it just wasn't working. Found some of these little stars that I made a little while ago with a kit from my friend Geraldine. So I think we're going red and white. about as much decoration as I can cope with in this tiny little house. So we've got a window thing, we've got a tree, we've got some gifts and a tiny bit of tinsel. It's already feeling very small in here but that's just, it's just what you have to put up with when you live in a terraced house. I'm gonna go and have some lunch and then I'm feeling a bit like I want to do a Christmas illustration again but this one here <laughs> that we did the other day. I'm gonna have some lunch first though, because that was tiring work. Looks pretty cute though.
pleased with how that turned out. Although full transparency, it did start like this. Uh, I didn't finish it. I could have made it into something delicious, but because of my challenge with the light, I'm sorry about the quality of the, the of the videos, by the way. After a certain time, everything just becomes grainy. Um, so yeah, because of the challenge of the light, I just started again. And I'm really pleased with the finished result. I think it's got a lot more depth. Um, and the cat, because the cat's bigger as well, it's got a lot more focus. I think it just works. So very, very pleased with that. But this is where I'm going to leave this video. So if you liked it, please do give a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, why not go and subscribe to the channel? No obligation, obviously, but it'd be nice to have you. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to leave this video here. And until the next one, see ya. Thank <laughs> you.